Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Let's take a look at an alpaca wool hoodie from PACA. So this is not really an unboxing video. I opened this as soon as I got it. I couldn't wait to try it on. But I was so impressed with it. I'm so impressed with the company and the care that they even put in packaging this. I tried my best to pack it as well as they did just to show you what they sent me. So here it is as it comes right out of the box. And I got their original alpaca hoodie. They sent me this bracelet and it's actually like a piece of bark. So this is pretty cool. It has a gift card with it as well. I'm not so much into the bracelet thing, but I believe my daughter would snatch this thing up in a heartbeat. Now there also is a couple stickers in here as well as a pair of alpaca wool socks. If this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So I do appreciate the fancy box and the fact that they tried to put thought and effort into it. And the bracelet's nice, as well as the stickers, but if the hoodie doesn't do me any good, then this whole thing is just for show. And I was so impressed when I got this. This runs true to size, so I wear an XL. I have kind of longer arms, so some XLs are too short in the arms, and then I have to get a double X just for that reason. So I was kind of apprehensive when I ordered it. This is ridiculously soft. It's got a hood on it, and it fit great, fit great in the arms. So alpaca wool is very, very soft. This doesn't even compare to standard sheep's wool. This is softer than Merlino wool. So this can go right, right against your skin. You don't have to worry about lining this at all. So the sweater just is not designed to look nice. There's a lot of thought that's been put into this. It's got a nice lightweight hood. And the sides of it kind of has some stretch to it as well. So it's very well thought out. This is designed for active use. And that is exactly why I got it. So on the bottom of the hem here, I've got a little design as well as the leather PACA logo. Now the PACA company, the story of this company is just as important as the garment. This is handmade in the Andes Mountains and there is just a large area of alpaca farms and individual people that make these for PACA. So mine's got a tag on the inside, signed who actually made it. This is their original model. They actually have their next level model that comes with the GPS coordinates of where it was actually made. So I think this is a great concept. PACA is actually empowering the people of the Andes and that lets them use their natural resources, which is the alpaca. Alpaca is the second warmest type of fur around. Uh, the only thing warmer than alpaca is actually polar bear. And if anybody wants to go with me to go shear a polar bear, I'm all over that. Until then, I'll get my sweaters from PACA. But these are handmade and it lets people of the Andes actually use crafts that uh, is natural to them and native to them and share it throughout the world. So I absolutely love this. So the weight on this is very light and like any wool, it's going to be breathable. So it's going to go over a wider range of weather and this is the XL and I'm six foot probably about 215 pounds and the length is great see it's got kind of a squared off neck here and the hood as well it's got that nice flattened hood there's no peak to it so this is key for me for uh, thermal regulation. I can put a hood up or down and swing 10 degrees easy. I always have a hoodie or a hooded sweatshirt with me. That's why I identified this as a key piece of gear and I went out looking for a wool version of the standard cotton hoodies that I normally wear. So here's the fit and it kind of covers your hips. I've got this kind of stretchy area here underneath my armpits so I've got full range of motion. Plenty of length on the arms, as I mentioned before. The hood is kind of low profile with a flattened top, so there's no, no high peak right here. And it lays down flat and it's kind of unobtrusive. There's no goofy strings or nothing here. We've got a nice wide open neck. I love the fit on this. 
very, very pleased with the craftsmanship and the design. So having just got this, this isn't really a review. I just wanted to real quick show this before it gets dirty and before I get it all stained up. So if you go to the PACA website, they have a YouTube channel as well. And check that out. They have videos showing where these are actually made. And it's great to see. It's great to see the people and the opportunity that those people have by selling these hoodies. They have uh, other colors as well, and the other colors are dyed with natural dye. So they're actually pulling wild berries and different types of plants, mixing them together for the dye. It is truly, truly incredible. I can't wait to get this thing in service, but let's not forget about those socks. So these socks are not 100% wool. They are 50% nylon, 1% spandex, 8% bamboo, and 41% baby alpaca fiber. So if you can imagine how soft this is, baby alpaca fiber is even softer. So I think I'm gonna reserve these socks for hammock camping. I always keep a warm pair of socks for the evening when I'm in the hammock. And if my primary sock didn't dry in the morning and I had to put these under service, they are durable enough, but these things are so soft, I think I wanna save these as long as I possibly can. I'll be using these Primarily just for sleeping. Now, I'm going to be doing a follow-up review on all this stuff. I'm going to be going up to the Upper Peninsula here in a couple weeks. And then I've got a trip in Minnesota later in the year. So, I will be in some cooler weather even though this is later May. So, I'm going to get a great chance to get these things um, just tested and let you know my thoughts of them and how the durability is. When I was showing my son this and showed him the pack a video and, and told him the story about where these hoodies are made and, and how I found them. Uh, first thing he said is, Dad, you're going to snag this thing when you're in the woods. And that might be the case. The durability is the one thing that I'm questioning. And like any wool, it's my job to take care of it. So I've got uh, rougher uh, canvas garments that I can put on over top of this. I think if I care for this, this is going to be a lifetime investment. I can't wait to put years on this and let's see the story that this thing has when i'm done this is something that is going to be a three season garment for me when i'm packing for nearly any trip the first thing i'm going to grab is my pack of hoodie go ahead and subscribe for the follow-up videos on this and you're going to be seeing this on a lot of other videos as weather permits i'm going to be wearing this this is going to be a great light time summer garment I love wool and that it's breathable. You don't get hot and clammy and sweaty if you're overdressed. The wind just kind of cools you a little bit. This is something I cannot wait to get years on. I'm loving it so far. Head over to PACA and check them out, and you will definitely be seeing a follow-up video on this once I get a little more field time. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.